XLOOKUP is one of the most important functions in MS Excel that enables us to search for specific items in a dataset. In today's video, we are going to work on the five examples to see how we can use XLOOKUP for different functionalities. We will start off by a simple example where we will join two tables using XLOOKUP function. Then we will move on to finding a specific record or a specific field in a data set. And later in this video, we will work on some advanced XLOOKUP examples to search for specific items using wildcard search and to search for items using multiple conditions and to search for items using date range. Let's begin with the first example. As you can see on my screen, we have two tables, items and suppliers. We have code, description, and supplier ID in the items table. And then we have supplier ID, supplier name, and contact information in the suppliers table. What we want to do is to connect these two tables using the supplier ID column, which is a common column in both of the tables. And we need to bring the supplier name and contact information for each of these items into the items and suppliers table. So first of all, let's add the XLOOKUP function. We use XLOOKUP function to search for a value within a specific range and then return another value from another range. For example, here we want to look for this S001 supplier ID in the suppliers table and return the supplier name and contact information for this supplier ID. So the lookup value will be this supplier ID comma the lookup array where we want to search for the supplier id will be this supplier id column in the suppliers table comma we want to return supplier name and contact information so we need to return both of them we need to select these two close parentheses and press enter this will return the supplier name and the contact information of this s001 supplier id from the suppliers table now let's drag this formula down till the end so let me go down and select this entire range press ctrl d to drag the formula down till the end of this table now we have the contact information and the supplier name for each of the supplier id here from the suppliers table so this was the first example that we connect the two tables using a common column so let's work on the second example where we want to search for a specific item in a data set and return a specific field or an entire record. As you can see on my screen, we have a data set where we have code, description, supplier ID, supplier name and contact and we have item code written here. What we need to do is to look for this item code in this code column of this table and return the description of that item code or return an entire record. So let's first work on description. So what I need to do is to add XLOOKUP function again. In the lookup value, we will add this item code that we are searching for, comma. In the lookup array, we will select this code column because we want to search that code here in this column, comma, and we want to return only one column that is the description of the item. If I close parentheses and press enter, we will see the description for this item. I have highlighted this entire record so we can see that we are returning this record. So for record number 1010, we have high pressure pump as the description. So this was just returning one column based on a value and another column. Now let's return an entire record. Let me delete this. Let me come to code column and write the xlookup function again xlookup i'm looking for this value again comma we are looking for that value in the code column of this table comma now here is the magic that happens so previously you were just returning the description but now we do not want to return only description but we want to return the entire record so for that we need to select the entire table like this it will write the inventory table because we have named this entire table as inventory. Close parentheses and press enter. Now it is 
searching for this item code in this code column and it is returning this entire record that I'm selecting in this table. So this way we can return an entire record from a data set using XLOOKUP function. In the third example, we are going to search for a part of the value in a column and return another column or the entire record based on that part of value. So we are basically searching for a value that we know only a part of it. We do not know the entire value, but we only know a part of it. And we want to return an entire record based on a part of a value that we know. For example, as you can see on my screen, we have a table and the table name is employees. As you can see in the table name, we have first name and last name. And for example, in the first try or in the first example, we want to search for the first name and we want to return entire record based on that first name. For example, let's stand in this employee column and say XLOOKUP in the lookup value we can say that we only know the first name and the full name and we do not know the entire name so what we can do is to say that we are looking for this Ginny as the first name and whatever comes after that we do not know that so for that we can add an asterisk that means we only know the first name but after that whatever comes we do not know that part of the full name so we want to search based on the first name only so for that we are adding the asterisk close double quotes comma we are looking for this first name inside this full name column of this employees table and we want to return the entire table so instead of selecting the entire table i can just write the name of the table employees and that will automatically select this entire table let me close parentheses but before closing parentheses we need to do one more thing we need to tell this xlooka function that we are searching for only a part of the value and we are using an asterisk as a wild card so for that let me add a comma if not found we do not want to return anything if the value is not found so let me put another comma and here is the magic it asks for the search type we are searching for exact match no we are not searching for exact match or next similar item but we are searching for this wildcard character match so let me press 2 because we want to search for wildcard character match now close parentheses and press enter so what it does it finds Ginny in the full name and Ginny will be as the first name and it doesn't care about the rest of the part of the full name it only looks for the first name and it returns the entire record based on the first name search so this was one example let's go to the second example and now use this last name to search for a record in this table so what we can do is to write xlookup again but this time instead of adding the name first let's add the asterisk first because we do not know the first name and after that we are looking for this last name comma the lookup array will be the employee full name and we are returning the employees table completely comma comma we need to search for wildcard character match close parentheses press enter and it is giving us this record where the last name is Dean and the first name is anything we do not care about that but we only care about the last name so it returns this Sammy Dean because the last name is this Dean in the fourth example we are searching for a record based on multiple conditions for example as you can see in this table let's see the table name the table name is HR so as we can see in this HR table there are five columns department team role employee and salary so we are looking for these highlighted records so we are looking for a record where the department is HR the team is recruitment the role is HR officer the employee name is something we don't know and the salary is above 2000 so we are looking for a record that can fulfill all these conditions so for that let me stand here under the department equals x lookup we are looking for a value that currently does not exist so for that let me add one and one means true in ms excel 
It means that the result should be true whenever all the conditions all together are true. So for that I am adding a 1 that means true, comma. In the lookup array we are adding the conditions. For each condition we can open parentheses and close parentheses to specify a specific condition. So here in the first opening parentheses I can select this department column and I can say that department column must equal to HR. So that is one condition, close parentheses. Now I need to specify and another condition. So for using and operator, we can use the asterisk here that will combine the first condition with the second condition and then we'll combine this with other conditions and we'll return a result based on searching for all these conditions. So the second condition will be we are looking in this team or division column and that must equal to recruitment. That's it. Close parentheses and let's add the third condition. Open parentheses for the third one and select this role column. The role should be HR officer. HR officer. Close parentheses and we are not looking for employees we are looking for the salary this time so this will be the fourth condition in the fourth condition i can specify the salary i can say the salary should be greater than 2000 close parentheses close parentheses for x lookup and press enter but before pressing enter let's read this formula again I'm searching for this one that means true we are not searching for a specific value but we have some conditions that we need to look for so in the first condition we can say that the department should be HR give me that record where the department is HR and the team is recruitment and the role is HR officer and the salary is greater than 2000 now before pressing enter let's specify what you are returning from this array so for that we are returning the entire record so let me select the entire table here now let me press enter and it is returning this record where the employee name is Stephen Cooper so Stephen Cooper has a salary of 3400 we can see in the first record it fulfills all the conditions except the last condition where the salary is not greater than 2000 then for the second record we can see that it fulfills all the conditions in the third record we can see that the salary is not greater than 2000 in the fourth record we can see that it doesn't fulfill the second condition where the team or division is not recruitment so based on this xlookup function we can specify multiple conditions and we can return a specific record from a data set using these multiple conditions in the fifth and last example, what we want to do is to search for a specific record between two date ranges. For example, in this flights table, we can see that we have date, airline and city columns. So we want to search for a city for this specific airline between these two date ranges. So again, what we can do is to add equals xlookup. We are looking for one because we have conditions. Open parentheses for this date column. We can say that the date should be greater than or equal to the start date, close parentheses and this date again should be less than or equal to the end date, close parentheses and this airline should be equal to mono airline, close parentheses. So this is all, we have added all the conditions. Now it's time for returning a column, comma, we do not want to return the entire table but we want to return this city only. Now we are returning city, close parentheses for the X lookup and press enter. It returns Mumbai which is this one, let me highlight it. But in this given range we have another flight of Mono Airline to Peshawar as well that you can see, let me highlight that as well. As you can see, it should return two records for this given criteria, but because XLOOKUP searches for a record and whenever it 
finds that record, it will return the first record based on the criteria specified. So how to return these two records using XLOOKUP? That is a limitation of XLOOKUP and we cannot return multiple records using XLOOKUP function. For that we have another function that is filter function and we can do a lot of those things using filter function. We have a dedicated video for the filter that you can see on this iCard above and you will learn how to use filter function for different functionality. That's it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave your comments in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.